short video for the disassembly and reassembly of the latest generation SIG MPX bolt carrier group assembly. Some people refer to it as a Gen 3, other people's Gen 2 with revision. The biggest distinctions from the previous ones are obviously the ball pivot for the op rod and the tab that fits in the lower receiver on the latest generation MPXs. You start by removing the op rod assembly from the carrier. Put a little downward pressure on the recoil spring, then you can re rotate the retainer. On the other side, just push down on the spring and then it will pull right off for you. Thing to note is that the recoil rod has a larger head on one side than the other, so they will only assemble one way into the op rod. To remove the bolt from the carrier, you have to first remove the firing pin retaining pin. I like to use the recoil spring rods, push it through. Ordinarily, you can pull these things out by hand. Sometimes if they haven't been apart, you very often you might need to use some pliers. Once that pin is out, the firing pin and spring should fall out. If they don't just fall out on their own, hold it vertically and move the bolt assembly up and down a few times and they should be able to fall free or you can grab them and pull them out. Remove the cam pin. Remove the bolt. To remove the extractor and pin, you'll look, you'll notice that the extractor pin is larger on one side than the other. I use the firing pin head, push on the pin so that it protrudes, then pull it out with my thumbnail while pushing down on the extractor. When I'm cleaning this portion, for the firing pin channel, I generally use carbon choke cleaner. The red straw fits perfectly inside, blast everything out, and I follow that up with some compressed air through it. If you don't have compressed air, you can get those little cans like you use to clean out your keyboard. To reassemble this, simply put the extractor back in, put downward pressure, Make sure you orient the pin correctly. Push it in. And you wanna make sure that that pin head is flush in there, otherwise you'll create drag with the carrier. Likewise, with cleaning the firing pin channel on the carrier, I use the carbon choke cleaner, follow it with a Q-tip. Prior to reinstalling the bolt into the carrier, I put one drop of CLP or any like oil on there, whatever your preference might be. Reinstall the cam pin. These do not have alignment dots on them like the previous generation or the previous version. Um, they're shaped like a ribbon, so as long as that's up and down, you're good. Prior to reinstalling the firing pin, I generally put a light wiping of high temp anti-seize on there and then wipe it with a rag. That's all the lubrication I put on there. Insert the firing pin into the hole. Start the firing pin retaining spring. And then I use the opera or the recoil spring rod to push down on the firing pin while I push in the retaining pin. Then I use the rod once again to push it and make sure that it's flush. Before reinstalling the recoil spring guide rods, I give them also a light wiping with the high temp anti-seize. That's all the lubrication I use on them. Press the spring, insert the first,
That's it.